Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Dangerous. I thought we'd do an experiment today. We'll see how long we can last inside the cone of a neutron star. Uh, not in Super Cruise, so we'll go in, we'll drop out, and we'll see what happens. I think what we might try is see how if we can actually escape it. And if we can, we'll just jump back in and kind of go from there. So let's see how close we can get here. We'll kind of line up like we're going to boost off of it. And then once we're in it, we'll just uh, turn off Super Cruise and see what happens here. I want to make sure we're actually in a good spot. We're kind of deep in it here. want to get kicked out before we uh... all right so now basically we lose control immediately and it just kind of goes on its own The canopy is going to blow up first. So modules doing sixty percent. Computers down. Right, let's see if we can escape first of all. All right. Well, in seven and a half minutes, this will be over either way. I don't know if we're gonna line up because I can't control this right now. Oh, we did it. Alright, so you can escape if you jump into Super Cruise, not necessarily jump to another system. And we've lost quite a lot of things here. Thrusters at 58, they could fill at any time. Well, now we kind of know what we can get away with here. Where is. There we go. We'll just jump back in and we'll see if we can get finished off here. So, yep, there we go. We're in the cone. This is kind of hard to tell. Well, we're kind of on the border of it, aren't we? Let's see. Power plant's still good. Advanced docking computer. That's toes. We're not going to be able to dock with these. Rushes are at half. Seems to be eating the hull a little bit faster than the white dwarf did. We did a white dwarf one uh, previous to this, and I ate the hull and it got down to 75%, give or take a few percentage points. And we got about five minutes of air, and we're already at 81%, so. Seems like a few things are lasting a bit longer than the, the white door, but it seems like the hull's getting destroyed a bit more. Fire. 
There we go. Yeah, we're at 20% power plant, so it's going to start malfunctioning a lot more. Anything below, yep, they're at zero now. Anything below 80% will start to malfunction. Did this on the white dwarf experiment. Let's see if we can do it here too. They just die right away. That's the problem is since we're kind of still in the hazardous environment, like as soon as it gets repaired, it's going to... Yeah, we have no thrusters. Our frame shift's about to go. Let's have 14. Our hull's at 68. I think we're out of air before we have our hull blow up. So I recommend if this ever happens to you, if you ever accidentally drop out in the cone, just hit Super Cruise right away, jump to Super Cruise, and just hope that you line up with the uh, escape vector before your thrusters or FSD go out. Or before your canopy blows as well, one of those two. Our shields are at zero, okay. Frame shift drives at zero. There it goes. Power distributor is almost at zero. So it seems like our modules are dying a lot faster than the white dwarf. See, that's doing nothing. No control over the pips. That's destroyed. We could fuel scoop. We got that working at least. Cargo hatch and advanced docking computer kind of work. That's something, I guess. Power plants. I don't know why we're not dead because the power plants at zero. That should really. I thought would kill us, but. There you go. Hull's at about 62. At this point, we're just, we're dead in the water. We can't escape. Could maybe re reboot and repair again, but I don't think it'll do very much. Well, there you have it. That's what happens if you drop out a super cruise and a white dwarf and are unable to escape in time. So it is possible to get out. I would recommend just having a key binding for inter super cruise. 
That way, if you don't have a system targeted for another jump, you can still at least do that and, and hopefully get out before your modules get destroyed. So that'll do it for us for today. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully, we will see you all next time.